Sunday, August 7th, 2016. I think this will be vlog number six. I just got done editing the vlog from yesterday. I think they're turning out a little bit better. I think I'm starting to get kind of an idea of kind of, I don't know if it's my style or my flow. Uh, getting ready now to head out for a ride. It's a pretty nice day. I'm going to try to get some uh, some decent B footage, B roll. Let me ride the bike. Probably going to try a couple different angles, a couple different things. I kind of need, in between me talking, need to kind of push the story forward. So, and it's a lot easier, I think, to just get to amass a decent amount of B roll versus trying to shoot some every single day because. You know, it's just every time I get on the bike, I can't be hooking up the GoPro and trying to figure, you know, the best angle for a shot. Or I think it would be better to just head out today for a few hours, and just ride different areas and mess around with different placements of the camera and kind of a mass, you know, like I said, a decent amount. Thought maybe I'd do a quick little uh, tour of the recording studio down here. This is my wall of guitars and two acoustics, four electrics, and a six string bass. Over here is my rack setup. Fairly legit. Here's my workstation, my monitor, a couple speakers, of course some skulls, keyboard. And this is my bass stack that I never use. Looks cool though. Here's kind of my guitar amp area. Got this little orange amp. Got the VHT, a hand-wired tube amp. And that's just a basic overview. I'll probably do a little more in-depth studio tour. Go a little more specific into the different pieces of gear, what I use. So this is kind of crazy little GoPro setup I've got on the side of the bike. I can give kind of that angle and I should be able to put it like right up there later and on this side I think my I don't fucking die sticker is gonna keep me from putting it on the back so see how this goes hopefully I don't end up losing it at 55 60 miles an hour going down the road So I went out for a ride, the problem I've encountered, the way I had that GoPro set up on the tank is the video is really shaky, a lot of vibration. Um, I'm going through now trying to figure out how to stabilize it, so I don't even know if it's going to be usable or not. So that's kind of disappointing, I guess I'm just going to have to get the chest harness. And I, I don't know how people to use these GoPros on the outside of vehicles without it being all, I don't know, just all unusable footage. So just another puzzle I'm trying to figure out.